Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at fabric because somehow over the last few weeks, I was able to accumulate enough fabric for another fabric haul video, despite me telling myself that I wasn't gonna be buying fabric. But Promenade Fabrics and Mood both had some sales and I couldn't help myself. And I also picked up a couple of pieces from Surge Fabrics and then I picked up a little fuzzy piece of fabric you'll see, from Joanne when I was there picking up some notions. So uh, let's just go ahead, go to the cutting table so I could show you those fabric pieces up close. So we're gonna start with Surge Fabrics and I bought two pieces, one of which is this beautiful um, two-tone teal baby French terry. And it's um, kind of a muted teal as you can see here and it's a bit heathered. So they call it two-tone and it's just super, it's um, not super thick. You can see it's got some drape here and then you've got the little loops on the back because it is a French terry, a baby French terry at that. And actually the reason I bought this, I was drawn to this particular color is one, um, I think it looks good on me. I love blues and greens, but I recently bought a pair of shoes that I believe is this color, so I couldn't help myself. Um, yeah. So I bought two yards of this, and it was $6.99 per yard, so a two-yard cut is about $14. And then the other piece of fabric I bought is this... Um, it's called Black Aspen Luxe Sweater Fleece, and it is a bit um, thicker on the heavier side. It doesn't have too much stretch, um, but it's nice and soft and it's got almost like, kind of like a herringbone kind of pattern. And I mean, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with either of these pieces yet, but this one um, it might be a little bit too thick for a pair of pants. It could make a nice chunky kind of sweater. So I might go in that route, like a, a long sweater that I could wear with leggings that covers my behind, basically. Um, probably with this, and I'm not sure what the two-tone teal. But this one is $17.99 a yard, so it's a bit pricier. So two yards cost me about $36, and shipping, which was kind of a bummer, for both of these pieces ended up being $19. Yeah, I mean, it's basically, they had to ship a large flat rate box. This is thicker. It's it's pretty thick. You can see that. Um, and so, you know, they have to shove it in a big box. Um, and just let me back up and tell you that this um, fleece is 95% polyester and it has 5% spandex, though you can see that you would think it, it has some stretch, but not a ton. They say that it's got 50% horizontal stretch. And and then backing up to the Baby French Terry, it's 87% poly, 9% rayon, and 4% spandex. And it has, uh, it says 50% stretch horizontally. So, where are we? You can see that there. So that is it for Surge. Moving on to mood, let's start with the two boring pieces first, I guess. So what I have here is what they call premium Luca polyester pongee knit lining. Um, I bought two yards of a nude color and then of a black. I've never worked with this before, but um, it's basically um, great for lining. You could use it for knit, lining knit garments, or you can use it for um, lining woven so it was pretty inexpensive and it obviously has stretch because it's a knit um it came out to two dollars and 39 cents a yard with the 20 percent off sale so I, like i said i got a couple yards each just to see um how it works out and if i use it and then they have tons of colors so you know if i like it i'll go back and buy more but i wanted to try that out Next, we have this, got some fuzzies from 
other fabric. Um, this looks like the back side because you can see it's got some little ribbing, like the ribs. This is called bright navy. I don't know how bright that is to you. It looks just like a regular navy color. It's bright navy double knit with a brushed back. Um, so let's look here. It's got a 25% um, one-way stretch, so it looks like that's horizontally. And the website says it's soft and fuzzy with a flexible drape. You can create sweaters, cardigans, and jackets. And this, um, it's pretty substantial, and it is so soft, and it feels very luxurious. And I probably will make some sort of sweater out of it. I don't know yet what the pattern will be. But here's the brushed side. Um, and it's just, it is very luxe. And you can see it's not too terribly drapey. It keeps it shape. You know, you squish it and it's just kind of there. Um, very opaque. This is going to be great for cold weather. So you can see maybe that I'm trying to buy some fabrics for cold, more cooler weather. And this I paid, say, about two yards of it. And it was $12.79 per yard with the 20% off sale. I just think it's just lovely, lovely fabric. And next I got this really bright blue, beautiful royal blue polyester four-ply crepe. And it's, um, you know how some crepes can feel like really thin and cheap? This doesn't, this is four ply and it's a little bit heavier than your average crepe and it just feels so nice, lovely drape, beautiful rich color, jewel tone, which is this sort of sapphire color I love. And I bought two yards of it and it was $9.59 per yard with the sale. Do I know what I'm going to make with it? No, I don't. And truth be told, I added this in, well, I added this and then I bought some muslin, which I'm not going to show you. So you can do, sometimes they offer you five yards of 45 inch cotton muslin. And I got that for like $10. So I added that. And then I got this. I was basically trying to get free shipping. So you spend $100 at Mood, you get free shipping. But this, I know I'm going to use it for something. It's just really beautiful. And it is a great quality fabric. They definitely have it in other colors. So if you're looking for a crepe, this is a really good choice. And last piece which I think is the most fun and I'm still really trying to figure out what to do with it but I know I'm gonna do something with it it's kind of like I have too many ideas and I just need to narrow it down but this is a metallic silver heathered egret laminated French terry so as you can tell it is a metallic and it is a French terry it's got um well they call it a French terry but you can't really see as many loops as you normally do on the back well maybe that's I'm used to seeing more, like, maybe these are the loops. I think that the loops are on the outside, and it's laminated. Why am I confused? I don't know. Anyway, let's just look at how beautiful this metallic is. I have two yards of it. It was, yes, $20 a yard. Good Lord. Yes. Um, I just really like it. I thought it was great. And, like, I could make, like... A metallic hoodie. I can make metallic lounge pants. I can use it to create contrast somewhere. I don't know, but I know whatever I make, I'm going to like. Hopefully, probably will. It's just super fun. Okay, so this guy is a sweater knit. I got two yards of it. You can see it's really fuzzy and kind of faux fur ish, sort of. Um, I don't know. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I had like, it was on sale and then an extra 20% off on top of that. So I think it was under $10 a yard for sure. Um, and then like I said, did I say two yards? I don't remember. I feel like I don't even know what I'm saying, but I liked it. I think obviously I like it. I bought it, but let's look at the I need to try to find it on the website so I could link it or get information about it. Sometimes it's hard to find stuff on Joanne's website. Um, I don't know if you agree. But again, I'm just trying to buy cozy fabrics, warm for, for cooler weather. And 
I like the fuzziness of it. I like the pattern. I think it would make a good uh, long cardigan. And if I could squeeze out a hood on that cardigan, maybe. Or like a sweater dress. Because this is actually really soft and it feels nice against my skin. Um, I'm sure it's polyester. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's a mix of something else in it or not. Um, stretch wise, not so much. But yeah. Next, we're going to look at the fabrics I bought from Promenade, and they're really, truly exquisite. Um, the they're separate orders. So this is actually um, one from when they had their 20% off sale, and it is, uh, I think I got two yards of this, and it is liquid pan velvet, penne velvet in dark teal, and it's $32 a yard. Yes, that's a bit, but then I had a 20% off code. Um, and it is just st absolutely stunning. I mean, just look at that. And it's 100% polyester made in Italy. And this will probably be a simple sheath dress when working with velvet. It's good to keep it simple, not a lot of seams, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to figure out what pattern to use. I haven't, but it's definitely going to be a dress. Um, it would make a great New Year's Eve dress, though I don't know what New Year's Eve is going to look like this year. Uh, this is just, I love it. And so I said it was $32 a yard, and I bought two yards, so that's $64, and then I had a $12.80 discount. But shipping was $13.75, so ultimately I paid about $65 bucks for this. And honestly, this is beautiful and in the store, I would be paying a lot more for a dress that looks like with something like this, you know what I mean? So let's get the second piece of fabric, which I bought separately. So this fabric I bought um, a few weeks before they had the sale. And this is what they call the end of bolt piece. So you can get a piece that's in a bowl and it varies in in length whatever they have left and it's usually at a pretty decent discount so this is called faux leather look with textured distressed stripe in midnight purple and this is a two and three quarter yard piece and it was only okay like, oh, only but it's 49 dollars. and and to me you know with promenade they are on the pricier side but their fabrics are absolutely gorgeous I was just fine paying $49 and then the shipping was $12.25 and so this piece was six with shipping about $61.25. Um, it does say in the name that it is in midnight purple. You cannot see purple in this. I cannot see purple in this in real life and I'm fine with that. Um, it even said on their website that it looks black and I don't mind. I like this and I actually do have a pattern in mind for it. I want to make a very simple jacket. And the pattern I have chosen is this. And you can see that three quarter inch sleeves, I am going to lengthen them to full sleeves. Uh, basically, just to look at the, it's the silhouette. It's just very simple, kind of a little boxy jacket. And and you can see that there are seams here, um, which is great, but I'm actually not going to, I'm probably not going to do all these seams. I'm probably going to combine some pattern pieces because it's meant, especially for like quilted jackets, if you take a look at this example, like the different quilting, it looks really great. Um, and for contrasting, so I don't think it's necessary for me to piece the jacket that way. So if I just combine these pieces and to make them whole pieces, if you know what I mean, that will work out just fine. And the reason I'm choosing this pattern, because it's so simple, because this fabric needs to be showcased. And so, you know, the more complicated pattern, um, I think it will take away, it will detract with how cool this fabric is because the texture is just amazing and it needs to stand out. So uh, I feel like this is the way to go. If you have suggestions, 
by all means, share them. But right now, this is where my mind is. And, um, you know, while we're here looking at patterns, I'm just going to take a look at what I have kind of pulled for um, my cozy sewing, what I want to make. Um, and maybe some of the fabrics that I previously showed you will work for some of these. I'm still, you know, thinking about it. I have made this one before. Um, Simplicity 8947. View D is really great. View A. View A is the one I made and I really, I really do like it. I made it with a sweatshirt fleece. Um, so this is on my list to make. Um, this sweater, I can you see a pattern, a theme pattern, no pun intended here, but like these sort of sleeves and then they have the, this, um, can't speak, like this wristband, this elongated wristband. I'm really liking that look. So I haven't um, made this one yet. I've been meaning to from last year, basically. I have this one from New Look. I really like the whole like sweater tunic, sweater dress thing because you could put it like with fleece leggings. It's just it's so comfy. You wear boots, tall boots, booties, whatever. I like this. This is cute. From Berta Style 6264. What else do I have here? Put um, I think I bought this. Well, I think I bought them for all views, but View D is really cute. I like the little ruffle on the sleeve. And then this one might end up being, so you can see View B here, which is this, uh, it's got this a dropped shoulder. This, if you're looking at this is actually for, um, wovens, but I think you could, I can definitely use a sweater knit. So maybe that navy double knit might work for this. I don't know. I have two yards, so how many do I need? I only need like a yard and three eighths. So I don't know if it's a waste, but whatever, two yards of fabric, you need to buy at a minimum, it seems like. So this could be good. Now it has this but these button this button back. So I don't know if I could get away with not doing that and if I could just make it because there's a little bit of stretch on that navy. Well, not too much. A little bit. I could possibly get away with not putting buttons on um, the back. How do you button yourself? Well, I guess you button. But it wants bias tape. So that would be fine to work with that. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, there's no reason that you couldn't use this pattern with a sweater knit and a sweater knit that actually has some stretch and then not put the buttons on. I think this is a perfectly great sweatshirt pattern, honestly, even though it's made for woven. So food for thought there. And I've had this for a while. This has always kind of appealed to me. It's got this um, seam, exposed raw seam in the front. And I don't know, it's like I go to it, I'm like, I wanna make it, and then I shy away from it because for some reason the raw seam freaks me out, but I like it, I think it's cute. I'm not really sure what the heck's wrong with me with this, but it's like, I like it, and then I'm unsure. And then this is just a nice classic uh, like long t-shirt dress. So this is obviously great and looks like it'd be super cozy for cooler weather. Um, and then there is just tons of indie patterns that I love, like the sunset lounge pants from Sinclair, which you know I've made many times. And then they have a free Harper cardigan. So, I mean, the indie patterns are endless, but yeah, so that's what I bought. Whoa. And those are some patterns I'm looking at. If you have, I'd love to hear what your favorite cozy patterns are and uh, what pieces you like that I bought. And let's just hope that I stop buying fabric and save myself some money because the holidays are coming up. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.